Oh, okay. I was worried that she had found out about our little dragon escapade. Because that is the very definition of ill-advised. I, I do believe that it's probably best to turn tail and get out of here. Given, well, a bunch of angry poachers that have just been, well, um, well, dealt with in not such a clean fashion. And a dragon escaped. Additionally, I've got a dragon egg, which is suspect. Perhaps. No, I do like that. It's the only thing that'd be better. No, that is indeed. It's... Mm, no, I am... Not quite. I'm going to go back to... Ooh, I do like that. No. No. Yes. Anyways... Right. I ought to get out of here as quickly as possible so as to not... Well... Make any more enemies or attract the attention of that dragon. Additionally, I need to make my way back to Hogsmeade to speak with Garnuff. Um, that is, unfortunately, Mr. Moon, rather low priority for me. This is, oh, I need to go back to Deke. So I think Garnuff should be primary. I have yet to understand where to find a dirty coal or a giant purple toad. So maybe I might need to read some books on them. Hopefully, I need to find the field guide page for the book Intermediate Transfiguration in the library as well as the field guide page about the underground harbor. My fingers are crossed that Professor Weasley has not caught wind of some of my recent exploits. I also want to chat with Sebastian. He seems like he has found more stuff about the scriptorium. But Yes. To Hogsmeade. Via broom. Let's get out of here. Uh, yes. Don't mind me. I am just a very humble wizard. It means you no harm. Ooh, here's an astronomy. Astronomy table. It's night time, I might as well use it. Right. I need to zoom out, rotate, rotate. We are Oh no. I was not quite zoomed out enough. Rotate some more. There we are. Oh, how fitting. Draco. The dragon.
It's like it knew. It is rather unsettling. Right, what have we here? Oh, it's a hippogriff. We shall not upset or anger that. As to protect our life and limb. Uh, let's have a quick look at the map. Perhaps it will now give me... No, I don't... Yes, it's a hippogriff den. I understand that. Bandits. Treasure. Giant purple toad. This is actually rather fortuitous. Now, if only... Dury call, moon calf, spider, puff skein. I'm rather close. I might as well go that way. Yes, A giant purple toad. Now, what am I doing with this purple toad? Hoen, a choir with the nab sack. Right. I must capture it. Somewhere else they're lured into thinking the ministry will protect them. And apparently there are some poachers or dark wizards of some sort nearby. I need this. Levioso. Come here. Not to be shy. Thank Everything's you. all right now. Some leech juice. Yes, I'm aware. I'm <gasps> one step closer to completing Professor Hohen's assignment. Hello, Owl. Akio. Well, this looks not, intriguing. Not quite what I wanted, but. It worked in any case. All right. Confringo. Stands to reason that they all must be lit. Silver half rim spectacles. Right. Not really worth it. Now. Yes, hawk lumps like to be spiky. But if you know how to correctly handle them, they are not that dangerous. Map. Oh, I see Ignatia is over there. That's... There. Quick, have a little uh, meet up there. Establish that flu powder connection. And that is the giant purple toad den. A dirty call. I have a niffler. Puff skein. Field guide. Puff skein. I suppose I don't really quite know. Infamous foe. Interesting. I don't. Ooh, more of them. Unicorn, moon calf. Mm, yes. Dury calls are quite outside of my area of knowledge. And I have no idea what their habitat is. Seems I must do some mongrel layer. Further research as I do not believe <gasps> a never mind and it just so happens to be there interesting well that is amazing West Hogwarts Valley it's actually nearby a flu powder portal even better. So let's get off the broom. 
Hello, Ignatia. I need your assistance in traversing all the well, at least it's by a flu powder point, and I can just flu powder back to Hogsmeade, I suppose. Um, West, West Hogwarts Valley. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Face of rolling and things. That is not priority number one. Low to the ground, get that adrenaline pumping. Right. Oh! Levioso! Oh. Bloody hell. Confringo. Not what I wanted to deal with. Accio! Okay. Ah, uh, yes, that was an infurious. Not what I was anticipating. Apparently, Dury calls. My to mother would like to speak with me. Mm. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I am hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Okay, apparently I'm needed in various places. Apparently dirty calls are like little chickens that can teleport. Wonderful. These rocks have seen better days. Yes, I know I'm not. I was a proud man that day, and there's more of those days ahead. What have we here? Ha! See me. Revelio. Ah, bloody hell! Ah! Confringo. You're dancing on dangerous ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not much of a threat to me. Ah, Venite. Nice. Crop. Accio. Come here. Expelliarmus. You are irksome. Don't do it then. Try me first. Confringo. Dead. Do you want to try it? Venite. How are you going to do that without a wand? Or on fire? How about you come back over here? Yes, 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 yes. You are not much of a threat. Well, stupid one. Confringo. So incendio. Protego. Stupid one. Expelliarmus. No wands for you. Accio. Come here. Oh. Uh. Confringo. Uh. There. Ah, oh, irritating. Pesky individuals. I wanted nothing to do with you. Yet you just had to meddle in my business. Could have just left me alone. I probably wouldn't have bothered you. Yet here we are. Yeah. So that should be everything. Oh, there's another one there. I think that's it. Revelio. Or not. No, that is. Accio. Okay. Revelio. 
Must be more Merlins. Oh, Dirty Calls are back. Ow. That was rather... Stupid. Oh. Accio. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get there. the best of me. Yes, yes, yes. I'm. In need of those jokes. Not so much ancient magics. Bridge. Alright, we just need to be. Revelio. Where are you? There they are. Hello, little chicken things. Levioso. Yes. Assignments all finished. Oh. Perfect. Now. Back to Garnuff. And we... Yes, 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 yes. Circle back to so we need to go to Hulksmead. Then Then where? That's not What's that? Who's there? Nope, 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 nope. No one, no one is there. You fool. I am yes, gone off at Hulksmead. Preferably by way of Blue powder. No. Very well. I mean, fine. I'll just do it on my map. Uh, I can go Central Hogwarts Valley, which will allow me quicker traversal. So this way. Then Hogsmead, then the castle will make our rounds. We've got a busy day ahead of us. Oh, it's indoors. Very weird. Hello, Ignatia. I require your assistance once more, this time for Hogsmead. No. I need to actually be in there we go. I need South Hawksmead. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I can imagine it would be quite the headache. From first hand experience I can attest to that. Um alright, he's under the bridge. Hello, Garnoff. Oh, my dear biscuit. Garnoff, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Yes. We're both fine. Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. <laughs> yes. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I am confident that she'll be very glad to be home with you. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. Thank you. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Whisket and I can't thank you enough. Of course. It was really very minimal trouble. The bigger trouble that I had was with Poppy, which now that I've... Hello. I'm going to call you Tiberius. All cats that I meet henceforth shall be known as Tiberius or Tibsy. 
Whether that is appropriately named or not is not my concern. I think it's a regal and noble. Which are rather synonyms, aren't they? Um, Poppy is apparently in here. Who wants to have a chat? Hello, Sir Rona. Breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. <sighs> I am over that. I didn't break into his home and steal Venomous Tentacular. I did go into his home and do some exploration after the fact. But the rumors are slander. And as long as they're not written, they are, shall remain not libelous either. Anyways, hello, Poppy. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The yes. collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. Yes, I they did look familiar. I think collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Quite Surely literally. you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures. Exactly. Merlin, yes. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. <sighs> yes, I agree with you. I do not want the responsibility of a dragon egg. In trying to hatch and raise a baby dragon. It seems rather daft to go try to hunt down. Yes, let's do That's this. That's a good idea. We need yeah. to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. No, you Why did not. Why is he after you? Ah, <sighs> um, rest assured that you did not cause me more trouble. I was already in plenty of trouble with Rookwood to begin with. Stemming from Ranrock and his lot. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Perfect. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Um, do be careful. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Perfect. Don't do anything... rash. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village from those trolls. Of course. I didn't have much of a choice, and I had help. It was either defend the village from the trolls, or get smashed into little bits and it was a pretty easy choice after that right 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 I've got more things to do Professor Hohen which is actually I believe sort of on the way back from Hogsmeade so let's go back here Right? No, she, yes, she is. It's not a hundred percent. It's more on the Quidditch pitch side of the castle. No, that is actually rather on on route. As long as I don't flu powder travel, that is. So yes, I'll probably is prioritize that. Professor Weasley's quest is her uh, tasks rather. Should probably put some sort of uh, efforts in. I need to go speak with Natty again. I am busy. Busier than busy. And Deke, of course. So, let's think. Professor Hohen's assignment shall be priority one. So it's done. Then. 
I feel I should take care of this with Deke. Additionally, I can drop off some of these other magical creatures that I have uh, rescued. Then divination and make my way down, I suppose. Yes, that seems sensible. Uh, this way. I need to first get out of this place, get on my broom, and fly to the castle. Before I get bombarded with more owls! Ooh. Speaking of... <laughs> Perfect. Hogsmeade is such a charming little place. And that should put us past its magical boundary. Right. And now we don't have to take the twisting pathways, we just fly straight across the lake. It's rather cold. I should really learn some sort of charm to fend off the biting wind while I'm broom, or to better regulate my body temperature. Otherwise I'll be frostbitten and frozen by the end of this semester. Um, oh, Professor Hohen. Hello. Oh. Uh. Interesting. Oh, I guess you... Very well, I can wait a little bit. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Pardon? Ugh. Professor. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. Precisely. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Of course. Of course, Professor. I will be reasonable with it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. That is a sentiment nice that I do share. Wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Yes, I do like both my hands. Mm, perfect. One... Mm, there. Perfect. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Um, okay. But, but mm, that was not the spell I wanted. I need Bombarda. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Oh. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control. Perfect. So anything else that you wish to discuss? Professor, might I have a moment? Yes. What is it? What piqued your interest in magical beasts? I was wondering what inspired your interest in magical beasts. Are you considering some sort of profession in the field? Possibly. They are quite interesting. I haven't decided quite yet, but I do find magical beasts fascinating. Hmm. You do seem to engage well with the beasts in class. I believe that when choosing a path, particularly of a scholarly nature, one must take into account both one's enthusiasm for a particular subject 
as well as how one may best serve the students to whom one is obligated to both inspire and teach. Of course, Professor. When did your path become clear? I recall it quite vividly. It was the summer between my sixth and seventh years. I read in the Prophet about a wizard who'd been selling Okami eggs and disappeared in the mountains near my home. I knew of the Okami, of course, from my studies, but they are native to lands east of here, such as India. I wondered if it was possible that an Okami could be so nearby. Hence, I went to find it. I am vaguely familiar, and I seem to remember that they are quite tricky things to, to find. Seems quite a challenge finding an Okami in the mountains. It was. After a few days, during which my parents grew increasingly annoyed at my absence, I found what little remained of the wizard egg trader. He was near a tree hollow, and there... Inside was a nest with seven silver Okami eggs. What did you do with them? Nothing. Beasts are to be valued for what they can provide for wizard kind. Protective clothing, potion ingredients, even wand cores. Only poachers see the value in ending a beast's life for galleons. I left the eggs alone. I hid. Smart. And moments later, the beast flew right over my head. Breathtaking. She then seemed to all but disappear as she shrunk to fit into the hollow. That sounds incredible. Indeed. I knew in that moment that I needed to understand all that I could about beasts and ensure that wizard kind learned to benefit properly from them. Now, I trust that I have answered your question. You would do well to continue your study of beasts, regardless of your chosen path. Beasts and all that they provide will vastly improve your life, and perhaps one day even save it. I shall remember that, Professor. Thank you. They are quite useful. On a variety of different fronts. Hello. Trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Oh, nothing to report yet, I take. Of course, of course, of course. I... need to... I did not really need the broom now, did I? Ignatia, your assistance, please, in uh, getting me to the room of requirement. Oh, Deke, I've accomplished what you set out for me to do. Oh, there you are. You're blending in. Hello, Deke. I've rescued the Thestrals and I bought that spellcraft for the pen that you mentioned. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Uh, well, it would seem that the room of requirement has some suggestions as to that matter. And it seems to be a particularly gothic suggestion by the looks Deep of never it. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Of course. I must first go Reacquire them from my other vivarium before transferring them to this Burton-esque one. Do not know what that quite means, but it seems very fitting for the fantastically grim aesthetic. <laughs> 